Most prospective college students know just how much they'll pay for college around this time of year, but an update to the federal financial student aid form has caused glitches and delays, leaving many students across the nation and in our valley worried and concerned. There's so much uncertainty, there's so much anxiety. Coronado High School senior Zihan Wong should be celebrating. You just got accepted into Stanford. How do you feel? I'm super excited. But instead, he's left worrying. My family's low income. Um, if we can't afford an institution, I'm definitely going to reconsider it. Right now, he doesn't know how much the true cost of his freshman year at college will be. Wong is just one of millions of students across the country in limbo because of delays in the free application for financial student aid, or FAFSA online portal. FAFSA is going through some, a major overhaul this year. Jose Quiroga is a research analyst for the Nevada System of Higher Education. He explains the updated FAFSA process is meant to be easier and simpler, but the electronic rollout of it has been problematic. The whole process is taking longer than we hoped for. Typically, the FAFSA portal opens every October 1st, but the 2024 to 2025 form opened in late last December, and then students were repeatedly locked out by technical glitches. The mess-up has prevented many students from completing their applications. According to the Department of Education, less than 20 percent of the total amount of students who typically apply for financial aid have submitted their forms as of the end of February, and this could set off a domino effect impacting enrollment. Do expect that this delay makes it more difficult for students to know what their costs will be uh, and to make the decision to go to college. Kiroga says Nevada institutions are working with thousands of students on extending deadlines, but for Wong, who is slated to attend Stanford University come fall, it continues to be a waiting game. It's a huge issue because that's going to determine what we're going to do for the next four years, and that's going to determine our future. Students should contact their university's financial aid office for any help. There is also a FAFSA night workshop at the Strong Future Technology Training Center Thursday night at 6. In Las Vegas, I'm Jaywon Jung.